Hi everybody, hope you're well. This video is all about this, the Fido C21 gravel e-bike. And this, the C22 e-bike. Woohoo! Two bikes in one video. So these are probably the lightest e-bikes we have ever used. Definitely. Super light. And it doesn't look like an e-bike at all, does it? You might think it's a town bike, but they're actually marketed as a gravel bike. So on these tracks up here, it's ideal for these. And super slick. The controls are all hidden in there. It's got an integral battery in here. And you can't take it out to charge it, but you can dismantle it to take the battery out if you needed to, but it's not recommended. So it's a fixed battery inside, which keeps the size down. Rear hub motor, it's a legal UK bike. We've got hydraulic brakes, and it's really, really nice. Really nice to ride. Looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, I like the look of it. It doesn't actually look like an e-bike. Doesn't look like an e-bike at all, does this it? This bit's really slim and it's quite light. So you would, and it's very quiet actually. That motor, motor is, is remarkably yeah. quiet. I think it's yeah. actually quieter than a, a bush crank motor. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to tell um, at all that it was on an e-bike unless you said really, I don't think. No. We had a bit of a mess about, you'll see later on in the video when we was printing together, and I had a bit of a mess about sorting out the mud guards, and I thought there was going to be a pain today, but they're absolutely fine, and we're so pleased we put them on, else we've had a back co covered in mud. Although you can tack them, if you're just going to use it for towns, around cities, you, you might not want to put them on, but definitely, if you're going to use it as a gravel bike, in Yorkshire, in February, you need them on. So the di main difference is, they're both aluminium frames, but... Uh, Obviously the crossbar, this one's got a crossbar and this has got a drop bar. They both come with the same controls on the top and the lights. This one has a water bottle here and has the fittings for a front basket on here. This one doesn't do the front basket but does have a water bottle fitting on there. The shape of the handlebars are good for me. I like, as you know, I like them to be a bit closer when I'm You riding. really like those curved yeah. bars, don't you? Yeah. And the crossbar being low, yep, easy to the get step on. through. Yeah. But they're lovely bikes, aren't they? Really we get quite really a few nice. people when we do bike reviews going, do they do a drop bar one? Do they do a crossbar one? And I suppose the advantage of having two bikes the same, if you're going away, particularly in a camper van, these are lightweight, so they'll fit on the back of the camper van. They're probably the lightest e-bikes we've reviewed. And you'd only have to take one spare set of spare inner tubes, maybe a spare tire, one set of cables, you know, and you can be self-sufficient because if it breaks on one of them, you can use it on either of them. You're not having to take a set of gear for that and a set of gear for that. Yeah. So you can get a, a, a list of supplies that you could keep in your camper van and take away and they'll fit both bikes. And also with the motor off, because this one's quite light, you can just ride it as an ordinary bike because it's, yeah, because it's, it's nice and light. Whereas some of them are quite heavy when you've got the motor off. Yeah. Um, so if you run out of battery, it won't be a biggie really, I don't think. Well, even though the batteries look small in them, the range on the website says they'll do 50 miles, which is good. So that will be in perfect conditions and not an up and, up and down hills. Mm. But you should at least get 30 miles out of them. There's no throttle on it, so it's completely UK legal. And they do them in different colours as well. You can fit a rack to the back of this. It has the fittings to put a rack on back of this as it does on that one as well. It's all nicely built in, isn't it? The, it just looks so nice. And very easy when you're riding fast and you want to change the speed because the buttons are actually quite big and I was doing it with, with my gloves on and it was easy when I was coming up that big hill to put it on top speed. Um, whereas some of them, they're a bit fiddly and you end up changing it to something you don't want to change it yeah. to. Okay. And the middle yeah. button on that side. It's your little horn, squeaking duck. <laughs> it's loud. <laughs> Good though, there's plenty yeah, of travel really on like the it. seat. And it went together really well. But I think it's more about the weight, still not losing too much mileage on it, even being a lightweight bike, and the style of it. Yeah, and I like that you could have two, two black, two bluey green i love the color of this it's nice is that uh, it? one of each whatever i've tried to you normally try to dress to match that i've, I've tried to dress to match this you've got your I zip believe it. and your socks and your shoes to match uh, as well and it was all planned yeah of course it was all I'm planned such a style as we've been person. trying to do this video for some time but the weather's just been <laughs> atrocious two days ago we was almost snowed in yeah. but it's all gone again 
So thankfully today we've just got a bit of mist. So we quickly got out and thought, let's get the video finished on these bikes. Let's go for a cycle. And considering how cold it's been, it's actually, I've took, took my gloves off. It's actually not that cold today. It's <laughs> bizarre. Seeing as though we had snow a couple of days ago. The mud guards are plastic. This is where you switch it on. That's the actual on and off button. And that's the charging port to charge it. There's a little button on there. You press the switch on. And then you come up to the controls and you press the power button. And it comes on. You can go up and down the power settings on there. Middle, as we say, is a horn. Or you can go up and down the settings on here. Or you can go into the menu and it does your trip, your distance, etc. If you press and hold... The top button, it changes it from miles to kilometres. And if you press an old the M, the little symbol comes on there and the light comes on. Apart from the frame, these are all the same sort of fittings on, same seat, slightly different handlebars. And as Joe says, she really likes these curved handlebars so she doesn't have to reach out. Same plastic mud guards, same size wheels, same gravel tyres, disc brakes, hydraulic disc brakes, and they're the RS gears. Decent size crown cams, nice stand, super quiet motor. There's the derailleur, the chain guard on the front. Fittings there for a water bottle, fittings here for a rack, and on this bike with a drop bar, there's fittings on the front to put a front basket on as well. Comfy, aren't they? Yeah. This, that motor is so quiet. I can't hear it at all. I can't. Yeah, I look around into the sun. Is it? I know I've liked a lot of the bikes, but <laughs> this is just different. Um, Really easy to ride. There's a noticeable difference between the power settings. That's one, two, three, four, and five. <laughs> it's so quiet, I don't know if you can hear that more. <laughs> it's a great day to be out on your bike. Soon be spring. Have a look what it's like in the box. Packaged as usual. That box there looks like the tools and the charger. And the other one's packed the same. This is a fancy box for the accessories and tools. Take it there for the mud guards. Handle bar brackets. Screws, construction book. Here's a box of chocolates, look at that. There's the control unit, light, pedals, charging unit. It's got a European plug on it. I can't see a UK one anyway. Oh, there's the adapter. It just come with an adapter. You can buy those separately off Amazon. They're only a couple of quid for a UK one if you want a UK one. Well, that's very posh. Looks like a posh box of chocolates. I'll only use the tools that it comes with with a pair of scissors to cut the tie wraps. And let's get it together. <laughs>
fitting the pedals make sure you get the right one on the right side so on the end of the pedal you probably can't see on here he's stamped right for right r for right and l for left if you try to put them in the wrong way around you'll have lots of problems some of them have stickers on and printed on here but these just stamped on the end so it's just something to watch for this is interesting the display and the power buttons on this little unit and that fits in there that's super neat isn't it and it does screw in from the bottom i believe <laughs> I always try to do these without looking at the instructions, but this time I had to have a look. Just a little bit confusing, but it's well explained in the instructions. I should put this unit in. There's two sockets underneath, and the light goes into that, and another socket. And then the cable that actually comes out of this unit at the bottom plugs into the cable here for the power supply. And then this fits underneath, your light fits underneath, and it screws through the same screw that holds the unit in. But it is well explained in the instructions. That's the diagram in the instructions. And as soon as I saw that, I knew exactly what it, I needed to do. Fitting the mud guards is a bit of a faff. The, uh, there's a screw underneath the bottom. There's no instructions that I can find to how to fit the mud guards. And it's probably the most complicated bit. The rest of the bike went together really well. There's a screw underneath there pre-tapped. There's a screw on there, which is easy. And then these things, these can go in which different sides and upside down. But they go at the bottom like that. They go up to the top like that. And there's a small screw that goes in there. So once you know it, it's easy. But I've had those back stairs on probably everywhere possible by now. But certainly well made once you get it on. This was probably the easiest e-bike I've had to put together. Um, apart from, and this was quite frustrating, fitting the back and front mud guards because I can't find any instructions for them. And the stairs, you have to work out which is front and back, which side they go on because they can go on either side. These front ones are adjustable here to give you some more movement here. And just lining them up is a bit of a pain. But apart from that, I've probably saved you some time with that information for when you build one and you probably won't swear at as much as I did. <laughs> but it's a lovely bike, super light. And it looks fantastic, doesn't it? It doesn't look like an e-bike at all. Also comes with a backlight. This is a rechargeable one. It comes with two fittings. It screws into there, fits on your stem. Or oh, there's an under seat bracket as well to fasten it onto. And it comes with a bell. Make UK regulations. With these having hydraulic brakes, there's a spacer in there that you can take out, and that's to stop the brake lever being pulled and clamping them together hydraulically so you can't get the disc in. So keep that because if you ever take the wheel out to put it in a car or transport it, you can put that back in to stop that happening. That one also went together really quick. And a lot quicker <laughs> than the last one, knowing how to do the mud guards now and the wiring in the top. But with those tips, it should help you assemble one. But it's definitely a quality piece of kit. I'm very stylish, I do like that. Obviously, there's some differences in this one. We didn't get one, but you can have a basket on the front of this one. And it has these round bars, which Jo really likes. I know she likes them. What do you think then? Yeah, I really like it. They are quite unique to everything else we've looked at, aren't they? Yeah. To everything else we've tested. We've done e-bikes similar to this before, but these are, with it having a battery that's sealed inside and a thin tube, these are the bikes that look mostly like a normal bike, don't they? They do, yeah. Plenty of power in it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah no, I was, yeah, I had it on a low, a low power setting, so could really feel that I was cycling um, but if you want a bit of power then you just put it on two three and you you're off the power is definitely there and because the lightweight on flat even on these gravel tracks we've been playing on today you can switch the power off can't you you, you can, can cycle it like a normal bike 
Well, going through some of the deep delves and the mud, you think, at first, before I realised how good it was, I was thinking, oh, it's just going to in the into the mud, but actually it just steamed through. It was really, really good. The only thing I don't like is the seat. I'd have to get a, a fatter seat. You don't like that? I found that seat quite nice. No. Quite comfy. But the seat's easy to change, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. No, I find that quite comfy. It's uh, quite it's, spongy. It is a gel seat, but yeah. I think you can get comfier. So I mean, we haven't I'll actually do. set these bikes up for us individually because this seat's quite far back, that seat's quite forward. So you might find it better with some adjustments. Yeah. But you can always change a seat, as you can change anything on a bike, really. You really like these type of curved bars, though, don't you? Yeah, I do. Just brings it a bit closer instead of... Um, having to stretch out which when you're cycling a long way it's not a very good comfy position for me so but yeah I mean in many ways I like I like that I know it's slightly different to my trek but I like it so much <laughs> I'd definitely have that for an everyday bike well considering these are just over a thousand pound at the moment they're on yeah. offer on the website I don't know exactly the price until I finish the video and a I get the information value. but they I, they I think it was about one and a half grand or something like that to start with and they're just over a thousand pound now. Really good value. Um, but when I get that, if I don't put it down here, I'll actually put it in the description. Um, but there may also be in the description some offers or a discount code. But considering your trek for what you use it for, how much was that? Was that four thousand pounds? Four thousand, yeah. yeah. And I think you'd get on as well with that for what you use it yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. And I really like it because it's a bit lighter than the trek. Um, so, you know, manoeuvring it, um, you know, I've been on some quite long cycle rides and, you know, you do have to get often get them over gates and styles and stuff. Um, you know, I mean, that, that was a, a hybrid bike with panniers, which was um, heavy enough. So I couldn't ever imagine getting my trek over <laughs> those type of things, but I could with that because it's a lot lighter. I think you could um, cheat on these as well. You could see somebody, we all do it, don't we? When we're cycling, you see somebody in front of you and you want to get past them. So you'll see somebody all clad up in lycra going up a hill and you'll fly by them on this and they won't know it's an e-bike. <laughs> but yeah, highly recommend them. Um, and the other interesting thing with them as well, which is different to everyone we've seen, is they only take three hours to charge. Right. You obviously have to have the bike with you um, to charge it because the battery is not easy to take out. You can take it out if you have to. If you were shipping it somewhere and you wanted to move it, you can take the battery out. But the battery is designed to stay in there. But um, three hours charging, they're normally five to six hours to charge. And they do have hydraulic brakes on these as well, which is really good. But um, if, if you're touring and you want to camp in and you want to charge it up while you're you know, you're in the tent, you've got a hook up, or if you're at a hotel or B and B, three hours easy. It's isn't nice it? and quick, yeah. isn't it? It's a long lunch, isn't it? Yeah. How many yeah, glasses actually, of wine? Yeah. How many how many chips and how many glasses of wine is that? Um quite a few. <laughs> Yeah, so highly recommend these. Um, some are completely different to what we've looked at before in many ways. Very stylish. Great to see the prices of these are coming down. For some of this quality to be at, to be at that price is pretty incredible. Years gone by, there'd be twice as much as that. Well, you just couldn't get them. You just couldn't get them, this type of bike at that, that, that time. But you there's couldn't. more and more of them coming out. Yeah. And we really enjoy doing videos and reviews of e-bikes because it gets us out. We, we try all the different bikes and we've tried, God knows how many bikes now. But they're really good, aren't they? Yeah, really good. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I've, I've liked all of them for, the di for different reasons. Um, and I like this because it's lighter, it's slimmer, it's stylish, it looks like a an ordinary bike it's really quiet it's so much quieter than my trek yeah that motor is ridiculously quiet i mean i'd be quite happy to go a long way on that and, and take it on you know take it with us you know ferries and different motor transports for getting to places the other thing with these being so light as well is they'd be great on a bike rack so you can probably have these on the roof rack, on a, a standard bike rack on a roof rack. Obviously check the dimensions and the weight limits on it. But these, both of these on my rack, on back of my camper van, wouldn't be a problem at all at these weight, at how much these weigh. 
So all I need to do then is get my ferry book to Holland and get get um, get some cycling done on the flats, and I'll be <laughs> happy as Larry. Right. <laughs> Me and the whippets will go away in the camper van. <laughs> Quite fancy that, especially on something like that. I think it'd be so easy to take a take abroad just the bike with your backpack and yeah, your pants. Yeah, definitely. I think that'd be brilliant. So that just leaves us to say thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you, bye. Bye.